New at 10 tonight, it's about one of the most famous images in U.S. history. This photo of six American servicemen raising the flag on Iwo Jima during World War II. It's also an image with some Fox Valley connections, and now those connections are under a marine investigation. NBC 26's Billy Wagnus is live at 10 with the latest on this new twist. Yeah, Cassandra, for decades, the Marines have said that this photo includes five Marines and one Navy corpsman, specifically John Bradley of Appleton. But new evidence suggests that might not be the case, and veterans are reacting. For America, it was the promise of victory captured in an iconic image. To us, they were the heroes to the newer generation. An image Vietnam veteran Bob Betcher and others at Appleton VFW Post 2778 know well. Anytime you have a national figure, you, know, you get pumped up about it. And for seven decades, the Marines have ID'd five of their own in the photo, along with the Appleton native Navy corpsman John Bradley. For 70 years, the government has been saying that that was my father there. It took me a little while to realize that that might not be so. Tonight, Bradley's son James telling NBC News he believes his father was not in the photo, citing recent discoveries made by amateur historians. It can be little things. It can be just a wrinkle in the helmet, a ring on a finger. Dustin Spence and others argue Bradley was actually at the first flag raising on Iwo Jima and that this figure in the second raising is not him. An investigation that could change the record. Appleton's never going to stop celebrating their veterans, period. But won't change the way Appleton feels about its heroes. Now, as for why these historians believe they're right, it's all in the clothing. They say other photos of Bradley that day show discrepancies in his uniform when compared to that iconic image. Keeping you connected, Billy Wagness, NBC 26. Now, the Marines have not given a timeline for their investigation into that image.